I've just been out to Adrenaline Performance and uh, got some aluminium. So I'm going to pull off my templates and trace around them and cut them out. So that's what I'm going to get into right now. So there's the template, I've drawn around it, let's go chop it up. That's just a quick shot of where we're up to, so just chopping it out with the 5 inch grinder. So I'll get the piece to fall out then I can trim it up. So I've cut out the basic shapes with the grinder, um, now I've got to go to the hardware store and grab a better belt for the linisher, this one's just, there's no grit left on it. so. I'll be back. And I'm back from the hardware store. Let's bash this on and try and bowl these parts over. So I've cut them out. I've linished them down so they're pretty close to what my templates are. But now I think I'll get it out to uh, Adrenaline Performance and get them to fine tune them and make them fit. They're still, you know, probably only 80% done. They need to be just sanded down nicely to make them fit properly. and. Yeah, I've run out of skills, so I'll continue on doing what I can do and I'll, I'll get Sean to have a play out there. So I removed all this sprocket cover and slave cylinder bizzo again and mounted the, the starter motor in. Next I'll be wandering over here to sort out all my brackets because I've got all this stuff laying around on my benches. I want to get rid of that, so I'll mount all my brackets up and uh, figure out how I'm going to mount the antenna for the GPS speedo. So I got a couple of brackets on, need to get some more stainless bolts to hold the inner guard on instead of the rusty old ones that I had. Next move is going to be to fit the um, this little lever here that releases the, the main seat. So I'm going to clean that all up and fit him onto the bike. I had to remove the ECU once again to put this uh, latch mechanism back in, but it's all done now, it all works fine, so another piece done. Here's a grab rail that goes on the rear. I was thinking about putting a single seat on, but at the moment I'll just use the parts that I've got, which means this guy will go back on. It's all like, uh, I don't know if that's grime or mould or what, but it doesn't come off the best, so I'll give that a polish up and see if I can make it look a bit better, then I'll put that on. So this has to be fitted before the grab rail. Um, once again, it's got that mouldy looking stuff on it. So I'm going to have to wash that off and try and polish it up and hopefully it hasn't gone through the clear coat. So more elbow grease and then try and put the first bit of coloured plastic back on it. So before I can fit this panel, I've got to fit the grab rail. Before I can fit the grab rail, I've got to put the tail light in. So, which means I've got to pick the best tail light out of these two and clean it up and fit it in the back of the bike before I can go any further. I've got the tail light all fitted, all the bracketry's on. Um, I had to kill this other tail light I had just to get all the rubbers out of it. So you can see where it's pulled the stud out because it had started to spin in the housing. So one of these guys was spinning, otherwise I would have used this one. But um, I'll run this tail light for now. There's a couple of marks in it, very fine scratches. But uh, she'll do for today and up the track. I'll see if you can still buy them. I'm not sure if you can. Alrighty, on to the next job. So the throttle assembly is all fitted and the cable, GPS antenna time I think which is um, this thing here. So we'll fit that up. So the instructions for the antenna say to basically have it facing upwards, like in this position here where it says best. Um, you can't mount it upside down and you can't mount it under a big piece of steel, obviously. So I think my best option is to, to mount it like this between the, uh, the gauges so it can still Maybe the signal can come through the screen. I'm not really sure how they work, but I think that might be my best, easiest option to, to test if it works. So 
So since we're mounting the GPS speedo, the time has come to pull this bloke down from your roof. He's been up there for 10 years, I reckon. So we'll pull that down and see what sort of condition it's in. Hopefully it's, uh, it's okay and not damaged at all from all the dust and crap sitting on it. So I'll pull that down and give it a bit of a clean and sit it on the bike. So there we are. I've got it down. I'm hoping that all the, uh, the dust and grime comes off and hasn't hurt the, the paint or the decals underneath. Um, so what I'll do, I'll strip it down, take all the indicators, this um, fairing mount and the pipe work and mirrors and stuff off, and give it a clean, see what we're, what we're left with. There's a the fairing all washed and fitted up on the bike. It looks in very good condition, so I'm pretty happy that I haven't hurt it by letting it sit covered in dust for years and years. Now I'll be able to uh, fit my GPS antenna up and make sure that it's not too visible and looking ugly and it's got good access and not shielded by the thick plastic. Um, inside the fairings in very good condition, which is also good. I've noticed that there's no large cracks or anything bad. Well, that's me for the week. Thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and catch up next week and kick some more goals.